I support QPR. But my friends support other teams. It's us versus them. Hello my fellow Rs and welcome back to a brand new series with me, P Block Scuds. Now through this series I've gathered up a load of my friends who support other teams and I'm going to quiz them on their knowledge of the stats and facts between QPR and their chosen team. It's pretty simple, there's eight questions for them to answer with three bonus points up for grabs but the bonus points won't be easy to get. And at the end of the series we will crown our rival champion with a signed photo of none other than P Block Scuds. Hello everybody and welcome back to Friendly Rivalry. Uh, on today's episode, I have a legend in the making that is <laughs> Paul Barrow. Uh, so for those that don't know Paul, Paul is the leader nice. of a band called Death Blooms, which I strongly suggest you go and check out. Bloody awesome bands. Um, trying to keep my swearing to a minimum, but if I can swear more. Yeah, I, there'll be a lot of, lot of swear <laughs> words. So, um, but yeah, so Paul. It's, it's, it's good to know I can't swear that much. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to, you know, PG friendly and all that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so anyway, Paul, how you doing, man? How you keeping? All good, mate. All good. Yeah. Sound. Thanks. How about you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Still, uh, still getting through it all. Uh, this yeah. lovely time of lockdown. Um, yeah, that's a weird old time, mate. It's. Uh, I think the worst thing is getting to me now that I'm I'm missing football. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I've been watching so many. Uh, like just Premier League highlights on Facebook and like match of the day highlights and all that. Uh, been playing Premier Manager 2000s for like weeks, man. Like it's just oh, I mean. yeah, that is, that's <laughs> no, definitely no. rolling back the years with that Definitely, one. definitely um, mate, yeah. I think my first ever football manager I had was 92, and I was about eight years old, so I had no clue what I was doing. But uh, I, I, guess <laughs> I probably would nowadays either, but. Uh, yeah, oh, so, I mean, it's, oh, it's good fun though. Yeah, that's it. And as long as it's keeping you uh, like happy and healthy in the mind and all that. Well, you know? I don't know about happy, but like, yeah, it's 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 keeping me. I mean, especially <laughs> if, just getting, if you're if just you're managing. The, else. Yeah, if you're if you're managing the, the team that we're about to talk about, then uh, I yeah, I can understand why you wouldn't be. <laughs> well, I, it's funny because like I just I just start, like I was doing a career mode and like I just started with Everton today, like really? because I was like, oh shit! It, oh, I was like, oh, it's the day <laughs> that um, you know we're going to be talking about this, so I better better get a uh, you know better yeah. get back in the zone, man. Exactly. And, uh, that that team in two thousand was insane, man. Like, oh. I mean, I've, I've always had a soft spot for Everton anyway. Uh, to me, they've always been uh, like the QPR of the North. I, I find it's a real like, yeah, heart, hearty, yeah. hearty family club, I think is the best way. Yeah, to yeah, for sure, yeah. And, uh, and unfortunately, I, although I didn't go, get to go in the ground, I did get to uh, walk around it uh, when I came up to see you guys, funny enough. So, uh, I was oh, no way. About that. So, yeah. But, uh, oh, that's so, as, as you've guessed already, everyone, um, uh, Paul's a scouser, so uh, he's going to support <laughs> one of the two teams. Uh, so, Paul, how comes you support Everton? Um, <clears throat> family man, like you know, everyone, everyone in my family supported and always has supported Everton. You know, it was like there was literally a point about maybe ten years ago, twelve years ago. Wait, so would it have been no, maybe like fourteen years ago, where it was like me, my dad. Uh, my auntie, my cousin, and my granddad all went the match together. So it was like, you know, proper family orientated, like, you know what I mean? So it was like, it's always been a thing, like, you know, because when I was like a baby, that's when Everton were kind of like in the pump and stuff. So there's loads of photos of me from when I was like, you know, one, two, like getting, you know, in my, in my tiny kit, in the parades and all that. But uh, yeah, it's all, all family, man. Like, yeah. Just uh, love that misery, don't we? Oh, of course, of course. I mean, yeah, my, well, my dad, dad was from around QPR way, and so I just, I followed suit. But uh, yeah, it's yeah. It, it's one of those, you've got to learn how to take the lows as, as much as you can take the highs with you now. Set you up for all of, of uh, life's other miserable times, wasn't yeah. it? So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> life lessons learned, isn't it? You know, so, yeah. uh, 
gets, gets used to the mediocrity, man. Like, yeah, course. that's what it is. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, Paul, uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, so, we're going to be playing Friendly Rivalry. Uh, so, I've got eight questions to ask you with uh, three bonus points up for grabs. All the questions are based on stuff between QPR and your team, Everton. So, question is, are you ready to play Friendly Rivalry? Oh, no, but let's, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so starting off with question one. Now, this is a, a bit of a recent history, so you know, hopefully your, your recent history is up to date. Uh, but when was the last time QPR and Everton played each other? And I'm, I'm happy for you to just give me a year rather than the full date. Oh, I think it was the 13-14 season. Close, but no cigar, I'm afraid, sir. Uh, it was in 2015 uh, in the Premier League on March 22nd. Um, yeah, if it, if it was 2013, 2014, uh, we were winning the playoffs. So that was a good year for us. <laughs> but anyway, for a, bonus point, for a bonus point, what was the final score in that game? Mm, I feel like it was. I feel like it was an Everton win, but I can't remember. Was it two one? Spot on. Two yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, I was. I was. I'll take that bonus point. Mate. <laughs> yeah. Take the bonus point and run with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was. Um, it was at Loftus Road. Uh, Seamus Coleman scored first in the 18th minute. Oh before Eduardo Vargas uh, equalised for us in the 65th uh, minute. And then Aaron Lennon scored the winner in the 77th minute. 60 and grand, 60 grand, Seamus Coleman. Yeah, sadly, I, I was there for that game as well, and I remember it. Oh, mate, I can't remember the last time I went to see uh, an Everton QPR game. It must have been quite a while ago, to be honest. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, I tell you what, my, one of my first ever games was in the 95-96 season uh, where we beat you at home 3-1. Uh, I was definitely there, yeah. Cause, uh, I remember was, that. I do remember that game because that was the first season I started going to watch Everton. Oh, really? So, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. that I remember yeah. it for all the good reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, right, let's get on to question two. Um, still sticking with that game. To the nearest thousand, what was the attendance? Oh, oh Loftus Road. Oh, 19? I'm afraid I can't give you that. Uh, I would have accepted 18 because the uh, oh, attendance 17. was 17,706. Uh, I mean, it was a close get. Like to be honest, like what's what the show like twenty one or something? So it's actually eighteen. Um, Is it? Yeah, no way. It, it's very it's varied between eighteen and nineteen um, over the years, uh, depending yeah. on seats being taken in or put out. But um, yeah, it's, <coughs> it's it's not as big as I think a lot of people think it is. But it's because yeah, of yeah. The, like I always knew it was like small. Yeah, but like I thought it was. I thought it was at least twenty. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it would be nice if it was 20, but no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to question three. Having played each other a total of 52 times, who has won more games? Oh, Everton. Everton, definitely. Oh, that, that, now the confidence comes out. Now the confidence <laughs> comes out. Yeah, yeah, you're spot on there, mate. Um, Everton yeah. have, in fact, won uh, 25 games. QPR have won 15 and the rest have been 12 draws. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I, I I must admit, apart from when we beat you guys at Goodison 1-0 and the one in 95 96, I very rarely was ever getting three points off of you guys. So Yeah, it's, it's, a weird, it's, weird, it's weird Everton being your bogey team because usually Everton is a team that everyone comes and takes points off. So. That's, you know, yeah. Nice one, man. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Let's put a smile on your face. <laughs> thanks, thanks for now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, this might put a smile on your face even more. 
So question four, what was Everton's ever, biggest ever win against QPR? And for this part, I only need a scoreline. Oh, so I know, I know we're quite recently, well, around that time, it was like a 4-0 win, but I don't know whether that was the biggest one. Uh, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go 4-0. 4-0? I'm afraid yeah. that's incorrect. <laughs> it was a bigger, bigger win. It was a bigger win, was a 5-1. Oh, um, well, I mean, still four goals difference. Uh, well, I mean, this is going to completely throw you then, because for a bonus point, what season was this in? Oh, the five-one. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it was that recent. No hints. No, look, look no, how no, dead no pan your face. Look how no your face is there. Um, hey, I'm a quiz I'm master. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say 84. I don't know. No. I don't know, man. You're only a, a, a decade out. Uh, it, was, oh, right. it was actually uh, the 1977-78 season. Um, I was going to it wouldn't, wouldn't have been in the 90s because no chance. No, I know. There was a lot, definitely a lot closer in the 90s. Um, yeah, yeah. That that scoreline was at Loftus Road in the old first division on the 8th of October 1977. It's easier when you know all the facts, isn't it? <sighs> well, what can I say? <laughs> I, you know, there's no paper here or anything. It's just me coming out off the top of my head. So, uh, <laughs> Well, we'll go from a happy moment to a sad moment of question five. What was <clears throat> Evan's biggest loss against QPR? For this, again, just a scoreline. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I mean, I genuinely don't know this one again. See, like I, I've 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 come into this like trying to just be like I'm gonna do my best out of my mind, but obviously I'm failing really badly. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say four one QPR. Oh, close! It was five nil. It was five nil. Was, oh, I love the same. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, but there is still a bonus point up for grabs here. Okay, go on. What season was that in? Oh, these questions are awful, <laughs> man. I mean, not all, like awful for me, like really good, but like awful for me. Um, I'm going to say, I've won 62-63. Again, decade out, but this side, the wrong side. It was, oh, in, the, it was in the 90s. It, no, it was in the 1975-76 season. Oh, that, okay, that's, that score was again at Loftus Road in the old first division on the 11th of October 1975. So it's quite funny how in the space of a couple of seasons, we've both got our biggest wins over each other. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely, yeah. Um, that's a uh, admittedly, that was a good season for us, so I'm not surprised we, we smashed you. That's fair one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice easy question coming up now. Oh, there's no easy questions today. Oh, I can him. Question number six. Which team has won more major trophies? Oh, Everton. Y are you sure? More major trophies? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, was, I was trying to, you know. Trying to, you were trying uh, to yeah. psych me out there. Uh, just a little bit, man. Just a little bit. So, yeah, you're right. Uh, Everton have won more. They've won 25 major trophies compared to QPR 6. And I can tell you that... Zero. Is, oh, hey, we, hey, well, 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 we've won six. Yeah. <laughs> I can actually six tell you. Hey, look, I'm going to make you smile here. I'm going to list off all your major trophies. Oh, so, thanks, mate. So, we have... Everton have won the old first division nine times, the old second division, the FA Cup five times, the Charity Shield nine times, and they have been European Cup Winners' Cup. They've won the Q European Cup Winners' Cup once. Yes. Once, yeah. Yeah, once. Just oh, the once. once. Yeah. So pipe down, yeah? Because QPR, <laughs> QPR won the IB for 11 Cup. So uh, that's, oh. that's no comparison, oh, mate. Eight. And I'm sure, I'm sure I saw somewhere today that it's actually the anniversary of us winning that against Coventry in IB for of all places. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mad little facts, you know. Why, why, why was that a thing? I mean, I'm into it, but I don't well, know why that was a from thing. What, from what I read, I mean, I remember the tournament happening 
but then I read some other stuff today that it was it was us, uh, Huddersfield, Coventry, and a a, a, a B for eleven, I suppose. And uh, it was yeah. only like three games, but supposedly the QPR the QPR fans tore up the strip, and the Coventry fans <laughs> got smacked up in the stadium by the local police. So Fair not then, because Coventry. I mean. I don't really care. We yeah. won the IB for Cup. That's all I care about. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So anyway, that, let's move that, on. There was there was some really good. Like I always kind of had a good when they used to do. Like they don't have them friendly tournaments as well as they used to do. I don't think because obviously like they have the Asian Trophy and all that. Oh yeah. And, like, you know, I used, I used to love like the Umbro Cup, and it was like you know. Oh Evan good, you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Newcastle and like Ajax, and it was like when Ajax are like the best team ever, and so, like, I mean they always have the best team. Ever, but you know, don't really get that like locally anymore, man. It's always oh. just like on the telly, Asia and stuff. That's which it. is where the money is, but you know. But yeah, I yeah. love them little little tournaments, man. Oh yeah. So, that, like, have ever and ever played in the in the the Cornish tournament where you play like four local teams from Cornwall. <laughs> I really, I, I don't think we'd be allowed. I don't nah. think we'd be allowed, man. But no, no, no. Let's get it done. It's bringing the place down, isn't it? So, uh... <laughs> it is, yeah. We're, we're our own country, just the same as Cornwall, man. So yeah. we wouldn't be allowed to. Need, need passports. Yeah. Just not going to fly. Oh, no. Definitely <laughs> <not>. <laughs> All right, let's move on <laughs> to question number seven. Uh, a little bit of a, a geography question, this one. How many like, miles? How many miles are there between Loftus Road and Goodison Park? And oh, for, this answer, funny. for this answer, I will accept two numbers either side of the correct answer. Two numbers, as in like two, within two miles. Within, yeah, within two miles. Should we say? <sighs> That's tough. That um, so London is. 120, 156. 156? Yeah. yeah you'd, you'd probably be about Milton Keynes area. Oh, really? Is that? Yeah, I, 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 well, I don't know if it'd be Milton Keynes, but in actual fact, there are 216 miles between the two grounds. Oh, no way. That's, so, that's, I mean, I failed geography, man, so... Uh, all right, sorry, I, I should have noted that. Made it a little bit easy. For <laughs> Next time, ask more questions in advance. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, but that would. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, well, I'm, I'm now starting to work out that, yeah, that should have been the strategy here. But... <laughs> um, yeah, so let's let's put you out of your misery and ask so you I'm one I'm on, for the, I'm on for the lowest score, right, aren't I? So. I, I, well, we, we, you could be, you couldn't be. Who knows at the moment? Nice. So, um, no. one final question now. After that, you can breathe easy. Uh, this okay. question is about double duties. So, from the following okay. stats, who is this player <clears throat> who played for both clubs? So, okay. played, played for Everton 60 times, scoring no goals between 96 and 2000. And then he played for QPR 64 times, scoring one goal between 2013 and 2015. Hmm. 2013-15. 96. I just, I just don't know. I just can't. Like I would, I've been, you know what? I've been thinking about WCs all day, and I've been thinking about like I know there was like plays in like the seventies and stuff, but I just like there was like one that I just couldn't. I know there's like I know there's a player I hate from the nineties, and I can't think <laughs> who went on to play. Um, did he? Did he? Did he play for Man City as well? Possibly. You don't know. I need a name. Richard Dunn. Hey, we got there in the what end. Was it? it was Richard indeed Dunn. Richard Dunn. Dunn, Dunn. Richard Dunn, Dunn, Dunn. Uh, yeah, the guy who only played for four clubs in uh, in total uh, throughout his career. 
that did make 64 appearances for Republic of Ireland. Oh, nice. He, um, yeah, so, like, yeah, he was in that team that is, I've just started with Premier Manager today, and I was like, bloody hell, I remember Richard Dunn. I'm, I'm, That's mad. I will admit, it was such a struggle to get a player who has played for both clubs that either one of us would have an idea of. Um, yeah. It's... I, I mean, apart from, we had a lad that come from our youth team, I think, to, I can't remember his bloody name off the top of my head. But yeah, we haven't had a player who's played for either both clubs or gone between both clubs in... Since like 70s, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's mad. Because I remember, is it, is it like Dave Thomas? Oh yeah, Dave Thomas. Thomas. Oh, Peter Reid. Yeah. What did I think of that one? Peter Reid, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, um, but... I'm glad we know those ones. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just glad. Those ones that the, the question wasn't about. Yeah, I'm just glad we got to the end of the quiz, mate. I mean... <laughs> fair. Fair that, like. Well, on that note, I can tell you, your final score yeah. is four Two. points. Four. Nice. Four points. So, uh, yeah. 50%. Uh, well, well, well done. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll take I'll, I'll take that, mate. Thanks. I think I think it's safe to st- say that you should stick to music rather than football quizzes. Yeah, I mean, it was it was, you know, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's it was just, I, I would ask, how did you find it? Um, I think I know the answer on that one. <laughs> Difficult. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, but hey, you may have learnt some some new stats there. Yeah. Yeah, you never five, know. Much five, one, four. Can't remember what way round any of them were, but I, I know them now. But if, it com- if it comes up in a pub quiz, it's going to come to you, know, you know. I'm going to be like, it was five nil or four one or four one or five nil or. You know stick with mean? the five nil. Yeah, so, five so nil. Be there. <laughs> 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 oh, anyway. Now we've got there. Uh, all that leads me to say is, uh, Paul, thank you for playing uh, Friendly Rivalry and uh, good luck to Everton for whenever the season and football comes back. Um, yeah, man. And for once again, guys, uh, I'm going to leave all the uh, links below, but go and check out Death Blooms uh, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, uh, anywhere else. I think that's it. Spotify, Spotify, all of the things. Go, go. Yeah, just and, all of them. Okay, so they've just released a, a new single called uh, Life is Pain. We need to get that to 3 million streams <coughs> so that they will come up in <laughs> South End. You, none of you will understand that joke. Like for 3 yeah, million. Yeah, 3 million. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a joke between us. But still, go and stream it. Go and give the guys some love. Less, less, uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, go and give the guys, uh, guys some love. Uh, yeah, go check them all out. And uh, yeah, other than that, Paul, thank you so much. And take care, mate. Cheers, man. Um, yeah, yeah, you too, man. I'll catch you soon. Take it easy. Mate. So with Paul needing the two bonus points to take his total to four, he sits just behind Alan in fourth place in the table. And Joe stays on top for yet another episode. But how much longer will his luck last? We'll find out in the next episode of Friendly Rivalry. And don't forget guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button too to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Other than that, as always, come on you ours.